Please report to the Kiana system. Our partnership with the Krenum is starting to bear fruit, but the project may take more time to complete than we have left. We must consider any plan that ensures our survival. Okay. No, <sighs> oh, that's... That's quick. Let's go, 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 go. Hello, it's Dr. Ubershadow MD. And we're cleared for docking, apparently. If you remember from last time, we helped the Kremen, and now the Kremen are gonna help us. Captain Kristen has sent his aide, Lieutenant. some sort of Vulcan. That's a Vulcan name, that's all I know. To give you a brief. Uh, the Kremen Research Facility, thank you. Oh, your name is very. Is, is that. Is it. An insult? Greeting. To a Klingon? On behalf of Captain Cogren and Alliance Command, I am Cogin. pleased to welcome Cogin. you to our Cogin. research station. The captain is completing his preparations. In the meantime, I will give you a tour of the facility where we are building a weapon that will end the Iconian threat once and for all. Follow me. Our researchers can explain how the weapon works and answer any questions you may have. I've seen Star Trek Voyager. I know how the weapon works. Thank you very much. I, uh, I, hate, I hate the fact that my uniform is like two different colors. Uh, whoa, hello. Sorry. Can I give up? Hey, look, seven. I think it was seven. And here we have the development area. Seven. How much do you know about the Krenum, seven of them? The Borg have extensive records on the Krenum. They were a species of great interest to the collective. I'm not again. sure I like Hi, the seven. idea of the Borg studying us like a bug in a petri dish. I'm not sure I like the idea of the Borg studying anyone. And what about the Iconians? The Collective spent a great deal of resources pursuing Iconian technology. They believed the species to be extinct. They were incorrect. So much for the Borg knowing everything. The Iconians' technology is far beyond even the capabilities of the Borg. Fine. But what about shielding the ship that's using the weapon? We haven't solved the paradox problem yet. This is not my first experience with alternate timelines. <laughs> it would be possible yeah. to develop a form of temporal shielding to protect this vessel from alterations in the timeline. Uh, researcher, what's your name? Naoi. Yeah, you, you're you're a bitch. You know you're a bitch. He has that voice like a bitch. Welcome to our facility. I'm working with one of the teams here to develop the time ship and choose a target. What we do is different from time travel. Anorex's designs are actually for a weapon that can remove elements from the time stream completely, and then time reshapes itself to account for that absence. I don't see. I don't like how that. I don't. In some ways, yes. Once the weapon is fired, it can create an entirely new reality. And anyone or anything that isn't temporarily shielded will be a part of that reality. That's why we have to proceed slowly. If we're not careful, we will change everything we know, and not even know what's happened. But think of the possibilities. We could reverse the effects of wars, stop threats like the Iconians, even turn back yeah, time, but you don't and know eliminate what... the board. This is a weapon, but it's one that can make a better galaxy. And that's how it started off in Voyager. Captain Cogren's briefing is about. I don't. I don't feel comfortable changing time. You should never mess with time. It's a bad idea. Even if it's the best possible weapon. Hi, Seven. You miss me? I know you miss me. Or Borg. For each other. I have the same ice PC. Does it see? Fine, ignore me. But yeah, going back to it. Like, how do we know that, like, our civilization will still, you know, be around without the Iconian 
Captain, for the wins. Greetings. I have heard much about your victories against the Iconians. It is an honor to work with a warrior like yourself. We are almost ready to begin. First, however, Agent Cray would like a word. Agent Cray, Agent Cray, please stand up. Up, oh, there you are, back there. There you are. Up, oh, can't stand on the table. No, I'll stand on the table. Greetings. My name is Philip Cray. I'm the liaison agent. from Temporal Investigations for this project. Of course you are. The Federation has some serious concerns about possible violations of the Temporal Prime Directive. Normally, Starfleet personnel are strictly prohibited from directly interfering with historical events and should make every effort to maintain the timeline. Indeed, that should tell you how serious this war has become. If the Iconians win, there probably <gasps> won't be anyone left to preserve This the might timeline. be the start of the time in war! Case, my role is to ensure that we succeed in our task with the minimum. This might start the time war than um timeline. Star Trek Enterprise to address any repercussions uh, of those disruptions. Oh, this is how it starts. This is how it starts. I don't disagree. As a Starfleet officer, I am sworn to uphold the Temporal Prime Directive. Not only that, but I have seen firsthand the dangers that come from ignoring it. But as the Vulcans say, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. The Iconians cannot use time travel, and that makes it a weapon we can use against them. We must consider carefully whether it is too dangerous of a weapon to use at all. So have my objections. Begin briefing. The war is not going as well as we might wish. Our fleet are protecting key worlds, but dozens of other targets have fallen to herald attacks. Civilian casualties are rising. We need to act. This facility is building a device to turn the tide in our favor. Captain Nong, what is the status of the weapon? We've had some setbacks, Captain. We're still weeks from a working prototype. No amount of temporal manipulation will change that. <laughs> and have you chosen a target for the temporal incursion? We're still running simulations. We've configured the holodecks to help us evaluate the possible changes that occur after removing an element from the time stream. Some of these scenarios show promise, but none are exactly what you want. Very well. We cannot afford to wait another day. We are losing this war. We need to strike now. A direct engagement is our only option. We will put all our resources into a full attack on the Iconians. Every ship we can muster will be a part of one massive strike against the Herald Sphere. That sounds like a suicide Captain mission! Pets, we're already moving into position with the Vanguard. Ships here will report to the Herald Sphere as soon as possible. There will be more warriors in Stovokor tonight. But first, we will make the Iconians bleed. Ah, uh, great. Knowledge. Rendezvous with task force. <coughs> uh, Enterprise there. I'm not going to battle without Enterprise. Oh, last ship to arrive. We are ready to set course for the sphere. Holy shit! Look at all those ships over there. Let's go. Alpha wing, you are cleared for departure. Why <laughs> am I last one? Glad to see you. This. It's just not working. The Iconians are gating in their ships, and they have far more reserves than we anticipated. I've called for a hold on the flagship assault until we regroup. There's no point in a suicide run. First, we need to help our ships in trouble. Can I count on you to help? Yep. This is Cloud Event from the USS Kelly. We are listening. Well, I 
I said like I think all of I think both my uh, torpedoes critted it. Bigger shields. More delta flies. Group one dead. Group two about to die. Bitch! Two ships down, Captain. Well, send up more to a suicide mission. Oh, I want to open these crates. Maybe I have enough for a... for a crate. A uh, key. After this, Very Federation ship. You're gonna last the longest. Nope, the front plane can't shake. Oh, they cut that they space scene right there. We're all gonna die. We're we're falling back. I cannot do 
that, Captain. A Klingon does not run from battle. Farewell, Captain. Today is a good day to die. Grand Brain Club. Oh, that's a brave bastard. Right, We've got one shot at this. A very sh brave bastard. We'll take care of the reinforcements. Follow that dreadnought. Oh, wait. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Go inside the sphere. Enemy flagship is straight ahead. Hail the flagship Paris. shields are down, and it's losing power. Looks like they're trying to interface with the sphere to give themselves a boost. This might be our one chance to board it and take control. I have three troop transports standing by. Everything needs to die. Everything get in my black hole. Everything needs to die, please. Now let's rip space. Jesus.
concerns about, you know, the whole messing with timelines sort of thing. Why can't we help? We'll go a lot faster if we were helping. Chrome, uh, chronometric, which calls it right. It's, it's just a time gun. Time gun. Yes, time gun. No. Oh. Thank you. Away teams are attacking with power junction, and yeah, let's you guys should be fine if you stick with me. Away teams reporting in, sir. Heavy resistance and heavy casualties. Detecting life signs and weapon discharges dead ahead. My new favorite gun. The time gun. Me loving new timey gunny. Green means go, right? And Herald weapons fire beyond this door. There is also a power junction. Huh, that was easy. Gas bitch. Be thingy. Makara is retreating. She might be trying to recharge her energy. Whoa, what are you doing over there? The fluctuations are increasing exponentially. Interesting. Makes sense. The Iconians are energy beings. If 
If Matara can't use the ship's systems, she'll use herself as a battery for the gateways. But that's probably dangerous for her. She's bleeding herself dry with every gateway. Keep at it. If you can... Harold, read <laughs> Just walk around to my time gun. The other junction, sir. There is another power junction ahead. Let's go. Move. And this is my favorite Federation gun gun. Actually, you know what? I change the costume. The strike team. It's a strike. Uh, strike attack. I use my strike. So many costumes. Is this? Oh yeah, all my. They're all in skirts. Another junction just ahead, sir. Yes, I, I see it on my. It's on my my little Kimmich K map thingy. Keep forcing the creature to use her own power. We can weaken her enough to defeat her. Yeah, get closer. Doing my job. Electric time shifty weapon pew pew gun.
The area ahead contains four interface junctions. I almost killed one of you. You. A pew pew laser of chronometric time relation thingies. Freeze, sit down. On their way. Uh, shove this gas up your th Kill myself. Timey wimey. Come 
One more time. One more time. One more time. I. of us Leaving a man behind, they are ladies or Klingons or Romulans or start answer. I'm so sorry. Thank you, officer. A constitution class made it back? Jesus. Please tell me you fixed the ship timey wimey thing. We have a choice now. We have to complete the Krenum device. Captain Cogren wants it online immediately, but this isn't something we can rush. Cutting corners with temporal mechanics? That's how you end up with unsolvable time paradoxes. Look, I'll do whatever I can, but I'm scared of this technology. Building it will be the greatest challenge of my career, but actually altering time? I'm not sure anyone should have that much power. And I don't, I don't want I want to personally commend you. Whatever success we had in this mission was thanks to you. The Iconians have lost their leader. Their unity is broken. That, that might give us an opening to end this war. The cost. Okay. And Mr. Klingon, sir. Despite the extraordinary efforts of you and many others, our operation was a failure. We're still totaling up the casualties, but the cost was too great. The Heralds still stand. They have lost one Icody, but if anything, that will only prolong the conflict. Defeating Matara was a combination of the sacrifice of Guroth and many others, your quick thinking and martial prowess, and the Iconian's arrogance. Matara did not believe an Iconian could die. The others will not make the same mistake. Indeed, but that is a small comfort to the warrior. I guess we are done here. Let's beam up and move out. 
Ugh. Our losses were great today. And we will mourn for every hero who died defending their galaxy. I am a warrior. I believe in honorable combat, direct tactics, and looking my enemy in the eye. Although you did manage to destroy Matara and break the unity of the Iconians, I now see that we cannot use traditional combat to defeat them. Captain Nog and his team will continue their work on the weapon. It may be our only option. Until next time.